BackstageAccess.com. We're here with Seven Dust frontman, LeJean Witherspoon. LeJean, man, how you doing, buddy? What's going on? It's a pleasure to be here. I like your microphone. <laughs> You're making your second appearance, I believe, here, right? Rock and the Rain, yes, second sir. appearance. How did the show go? It was great, man. It was a little different to play at 1225, and we didn't know what to expect, but everyone showed up, and uh, it was actually great. It was a beautiful day, man. It's different it's than you guys are usually the headliners. Now you guys are opening it up. How was that? Maybe not the headliners, but somewhere a little at the end. It was great, man. We didn't know what to expect, like I said. And everyone showed out in forces, and it made it seem like it was a headlining slot. So it was great. Um, Cold Day Memory just came out last month, debuted at number 12 on the Billboard charts. It came out on 420, y'all. What's up? <laughs> Were you surprised by the charting? Yeah, you know, because we kind of stopped looking at that kind of stuff. We've been around so long. But it's a beautiful thing to have it be accepted so well, man. That's something that everyone wants. As long as we can stay out on the road, that's all we want to do and be happy. And it's all about the music. So, you know, thank you guys for putting us up on the chart. But as long as you come to the shows, that's what it's about. Well, was there anything that you wanted different on this record, say, uh, different than Hope and Sorrow or even Alpha? Was it something like purposely that you guys want to do something different on this one? No, just to still be relevant in the music business, and I think that's what's happening, so it's a pleasure. Well, obviously, you know, debut very highly, so I think, you know, the fans, you know, appreciated this one a little bit more, or are hoping for this release more than the last two, maybe. Definitely, you know, you just got the full band back, so they're really right. excited, right? That was my next question with uh, Clayton Lowry back in the band. Uh, you know, how did that, was there something different that he brought to the table this time around? No, you know, just being back. It was a lot of work that had to be done. And uh, just, that was the missing piece of the puzzle that was in that toy chest that we stopped playing with. That we got back out was like a new toy again. So it's, it's the beginning for us. Where well, you guys going to be doing this Carnival, Carnival of Madness tour with Shine Down, uh, Puddle of Mud, and Chevelle. How did this tour come about? Oh, you know, Indigo being on the same management, everything, we've always wanted to do it, and so we get to finally get a chance to take it out, and we look forward to it. What can the fans expect from you guys the rest of 2010? Uh, a rocking album, and hopefully single after single that you guys get to hear. These guys are going to be coming to your town. Check them out on a Carbonal a Madness tour in 2010. LeJohn, thanks a lot for talking to BackstageAccess.com, man. I appreciate it, man. Right All right.